So now, we're gonna go backside half. Now, we can do a couple things. We can wait for this guy to go inside hip and then switch backside half, or we can ride it at the same time. Now, if we ride it at the same time, we're almost gonna be fighting each other a little bit. It's gonna be kind of like having a bar and a half, but we can take this guy straight over his head. Once we get single wrist and half, you'll feel it. I mean, it just, it locks everything out in your upper body. Now, and it's, it's something I'm gonna steal from Joe that he was doing, he wasn't even realizing he was doing it a couple reps. Instead of spiraling or just hanging out on the backside, he was actually flanking to both knees to put that guy to his inside hip. I really like that from an effective standpoint. When I'm spiral riding and then I'm inside collapsing and scooping and collecting and coming up front shelf right here, reaching across. If I wanna put this guy on his inside hip, this is a really easy way to collapse to the inside. Now, if, if my goal is just to get him to inside hip and then start putting his hand on his back, that's great. All right, but when we get to this inside shelf right here and come backside half, this is when things start getting really tight. Because as I'm pushing the half down, I'm circling to the hand right here. And he really doesn't have anywhere to go, right? So as I continue to circle, it's gonna take him straight over his head right here. Now I can stack him up and pin him right here, or I can just get criteria. Kind of depends on how flexible his shoulders are. Now, so we can go this route and stack him to the side that we have the single wrist, or a lot of times what'll happen is I got super baby raptor arms, so I can't get to that backside half if my chest isn't super high, but I can collapse him to the inside hip. When he's on his left hip, usually his backside's kind of open. Then I can swim to my backside half, jump sides, and, and pin him right there. So basically, I'll end up with first day of wrestling practice, half in a wrist, right? So we're going to jam, boom, inside collapse. Make sure we're collecting properly. Don't get lazy and grab the wrist. Keep your backside connection and your flank. Then we're gonna change knees, inside shelf. Like I said, if you can't get the half, you can just hook the shoulder if you want, okay? And then as we're running, this wrist right here, and taking him to his hip, see what happens when he pops to his hip? And I got my hook right here, he's collapsed right here. All right, all I gotta do is just jump sides half. Just recognize where I'm at. And this is just normal wrestling. Get your chest in his armpit. Don't jump to this side and keep your chest up here and take off running. You're gonna lose a fall, okay? Sprawl. Get the bend of your elbow on the back of his neck. Get your chest in his armpit. Then put him away right here, okay? Don't, don't, get, don't get too excited there and take off running. Pinning's about patience and small adjustments. I try to remind you guys that all the time. So double thigh cry or spiral. Notice I'm on my toes here. I gotta keep that pressure. Inside collapse. Bring it up, knee change shelf. You'll, you'll start figuring out what side you like to shelf on better. I think I'm, I'm liking my right side to shelf a little bit better. If you can't get your half, just hook to the shoulder. And when I hook to the shoulder, see I'm pulling myself up, I'm circling, circling, circling. Right here, if he goes inside hip down, oh, he's not bellying down right here. Punch the mat, float. Get to this position, sprawl. Get your chest low, take your time here. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Now I got barium right here, okay? So if you can get the backside half and stack them straight over, great. If you just need to be shallow and then get them inside hip, perfectly fine as well. How far are you dog? So uh, Brandon can see. So again, boom, stretching and bumping off the whistle. Bumping, bumping, bumping on your toes. Collapsing, collecting knee change inside shelf right here. Really get that elbow forward, okay? Get that elbow forward. Now I'm just hooking back shoulder. If I can get deep half, that's fine. If you can get back, give that backside half. If I can get both, I can take him straight over his head right here, okay? Most of the time he's probably gonna fight this shoulder down a little bit so I won't be able to get it. So I'm just gonna, maybe I get here and I can't get the half and then watch my hand switch to the knee. Everybody see that? I can switch to the knee, pop him to his hip, then come back to the half. Right here, if you're paying good enough attention. Sprawling, getting in my good position to score. Don't start putting him on his back and getting ready to pin him until your chest is in the armpit. We'll pin him here, okay? It's gonna be 50-50 here. He might be professional at fighting off his back. We don't want that. Questions? Okay, so we're back to single wrist. 
backside hook or backside half. Near, near, near hip, jump sides, sprawl, chest in the armpit, put them away. Go.